Columbia City Council members have passed the next fiscal year's budget, but the vote was not unanimous. City Manager to Carlin Seawood tells KRCG 13's Mark Slavitt the new budget does not have a deficit, despite the fact that city leaders are spending more than next year's projected revenues. After months of discussion, the Columbia City Council passed the 2025 fiscal year budget by a vote of 5 to 2. The two no votes coming from 2nd Ward Councilwoman Lisa Meyer and 5th Ward Councilman Donald Waterman. Columbia's new budget includes 35 new staff positions, an increase to water rates, another year of free public transit, the creation of an affordable housing trust fund, and a new office of violence prevention. It adds $1 million to the police and fire pensions and more than $2 million for a partnership with the Missouri Department of Transportation to improve pedestrian safety on Interstate 70. City leaders want to spend $563 million during the next fiscal year while generating only $540 million. City Manager DeCarlin Seawood says that doesn't add up to a deficit of $23 million. When you look at our budget, you have revenues, you have operating expenses, you have capital expenses. And so because our capital expenses are included in our expenditures, it appears, but th there is not a deficit. The budget also includes an additional $15 million for pay raises. City leaders argue the pay increases will help them attract and retain employees. More than half of the general fund, or about $66 million, goes towards public safety, including police and fire services. I think we have a lot of different priorities that we addressed and, and we put money in, in some good places. Columbia City leaders held three public hearings since the beginning of August to get feedback from the public before approving the 2025 fiscal year budget. The new budget takes effect on October 1st. Reporting in Columbia, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13.